Hello guys, welcome back to the channel. Theo here. On today's video, we are simply installing the polyurethane rev shift transmission mount onto the E36 M3 right here. We're going to replace that old rubber looking one with this one. And I'm going to explain to you why. decided to change the transmission mount is pretty simple i need something that is going to make sure that the transmission is fixed anytime i'm shifting gears now this car is about 23 years old so i'm pretty sure the bushing that is there or the mount whatever you want to call it is 23 years old so i'm pretty sure it is ripped we are going to check the condition when we swap it now i decided to go with the ref shift because you know it was fairly affordable and that's the option that was on scp euro now i decided to go with a 95a you know dual meter because this one is kind of like street track so because i'm planning to you know use this car on the street and also on the track so i wanted to make sure that i have one i can fit in both so the installation is fairly simple we just have a couple of bolts to remove a bracket down there on the bottom hold the transmission mount with the jack and then swap with this one now we need a 13 millimeter wrench 13 millimeter socket to remove the bolt so let's go under the car i already jacked up the car as you can see right here let's go under the car and go ahead and, and install this fairly simple it shouldn't take us too long we are currently under the car and pretty much this is the mount right here so that is what we want to swap right now there's one on this side and then one on this side as you can see so what we have to do is remove this 13 millimeter nut this one here and it's also an additional one let me see if i can point that out there's also an additional one on this end right here i'm not sure if you can see that here there's one on the top here that we also have to remove and one also on that side right there on the top so that's also a 13 so once you remove that remove this remove this and then loosen these bolts right here a little bit just so that this support bracket can kind of go down a little bit that will allow you to kind of like remove this then you just go ahead and swap it slide the other one right here now as i mentioned you can see the bottom here is filthy because i still have my oil issue i've already have i think everything that i need as far as doing the valve cover gasket and once i do that i'm going to clean up this bottom piece pretty 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 nice and then from there i'm going to observe every day after i drive the car to see where you know oil is coming if oil is leaking again after that now to do this job you have to make sure that you secure the transmission by holding it with a jack just like this one now when you listen this one it's also going to continue to support the transmission but once you remove the transmission mount right here there will be nothing supporting the transmission for a short period of time that's why you have to ensure that you have a you know the jack holding the transmission this way so let me go ahead now and loosen these bolts and then remove this transmission mount so we can compare that with the rev shift kit so i'm done removing probably what 45 minutes later i was it was easy for me to remove this one right here and as you can see it's not damaged but as always with my 23 year old car there's one bolt that was you know kind of seized when you look at this one it looks really rusted I just had to cut it, hammer it, and do all type of things. You can see it's bent because I just decided, you know what, all for in. And you can see that the bolt is kind of messed up here. That's what I had to do, you know, in order to remove this one. Since I knew that I was going to replace with this, I didn't care if I completely, you know, damaged this device right here. Now, it was right here. And when you look at it, it wasn't too bad. But because I just want that racy feel and for my transmission not to move, I decided to just go ahead and swap it with this one this one is a 95 again you can see here 95 mm now when you install this one you have to pay attention that there's a little notch here I'm not sure if you can see the notch here and the notch is supposed to go right here on this side and then right here on that side so when you install for example this one if you install this one here you have to put it this way so that the notch it's right here of course you have to remove this bolt first install the notch and, the, and install the the, um, the transmission mount make sure that it fits on the notch same on that side and this is the one that's going to go on the top so let me go ahead and clean up this little mounting bracket and then install this and show you how this is done here before i mount it under the car right there i'm done mounting this is somehow how it's going to look like make sure that you know that little 
notch right there nipple thing is going to the hole right there and i also put some anti-seize grease right here just to make sure that in the future if i have to remove this i won't suffer as you can see here and uh, now all i have to do is go ahead and pretty much mount this exactly on under the car and secure these bolts right here which are right here on the floor also put a little bit of anti-seize these did not give me any issues to remove normally you don't have to remove this but the only reason i removed this bracket it was because i was stuck with that one transmission mount you do not have to remove this one technically you just loosen it a little bit so that you can slide this out of place now let me go ahead and mount everything then i'm going to show you the finished product when you finish the installation this is pretty much how it's supposed to look like so you have the green rev shape transmission mount installed you know the bolt is on the top like that same way here on the bottom you have this bolt right here and you also have that bolt right there and then you secure one two three and four right there Normally, this is supposed to be this simple, but because I had a seize bolt, I had to, you know, do a little extra. But normally, when you do on your end, you shouldn't have to do that much. As you can see here, my gribo it's is cracked, so I have to think about changing that in the future. Damn, that's actually very bad, man. I did not know that it was this bad, so I definitely have to plan on changing that. That's, uh, I guess, an upcoming video sometime, hopefully soon. No. This was a very fair, simple job because it's at night, it's almost 1 a.m. right now. I'm not going to go ahead and try to just test drive this. I'm going to test drive this and when I do a review on the car, probably uh, in the next video, I'm going to point out how it feels now that I have this installed on the car. So normally I was planning to do the engine mount also today, but because this one took me a little extra, you know, with that seize bolt, I'm not going to do the engine mount today so i'm gonna have to do it another time so let me go ahead and remove the jack and you know keep the car ready for me tomorrow so on this note see you on the next video if you haven't subscribed make sure that you do because there's a lot of this type of content on this channel thank you again for watching and see you on the next time bye bye